So Frisbee and I's training today was pretty solid actually. There really wasn't much wind and a little bit of breeze was actually coming from the opposite direction which was, like never happens out here. The prevailing wind is always coming from the west to the east and today it was east to the west. So you know you throw a couple throws, you feel it as you're skating, you adjust and it's not a big deal after that but you start running out of rink a little bit. Um, I went in the snowbank quite a few times because typically where my throws finish the other direction I have a lot more space because the ice is a lot wider and I don't really want to throw from way over there just because of the way the trees are set up and the ice is set up so it's flipped in a way but it doesn't really work out as well as you'd hope but still got some good throws in some good catches again I played with the building kept throwing around the building and uh, finished on a good note that's the important thing is no matter what you're practicing always try to finish on a positive you know, if you're trying something and it's taking you a hundred or a thousand tries, then maybe you're, you're not going to be able to finish with a success or a completion. Um, so I should say completion. You can find a success within that. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a catch if you're, uh, or, you know, if you're trying to break a record. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you finish when you finally break the record. It could be that you improve on your longest throw or something, or you just get a couple in a row that feel really good. Whenever those learning points hit, I find I keep pushing past that. But then when your time is up for that practice session, really try to make sure you go a couple extra minutes and finish with a positive because then you leave with a good feeling. You have a lot of optimism the next time you come out and you have something to look forward to and say, yeah, like I was really starting to get it, you know. So anyway, with self-cut flight, obviously you always try and finish with a catch. That's pretty standard, right? Um, but yeah, no, it was pretty good, pretty good day. Um, I actually I'm gonna be doing a separate vlog. I went to the play Calgary meeting play stands for physical literacy and you and So I'm gonna be doing a vlog about that But anyway today's session was really good. It's uh, the first time I've been out in a couple days Just it got cold again The limit for me is about minus 10 and that includes wind chill maybe minus 11 or 12 If it gets too cold the discs are just way too stiff and they're not really gonna flip and tower and float at all um, they could break if I don't catch them and then it's just also really cold out here for me So I don't really want to try and bundle up and come out and throw because I'm gonna be really restricted with throwing It's not really gonna be a great training session So it's uh, it's okay to take some days off and you can visualize What you want to do you can visualize a good throw you can think about okay if the wind is this way How does my wrist feel? How's my arm gonna be positioned? How am I positioning the disc? All those tiny little adjustments because when you're actually doing the record attempts you only have five attempts per round, so 15 attempts in one day because you get three rounds. But you don't want to be thinking too much. You just want to be going off the feel of the wind, the temperature, adjust based on each throw when you finally get a good throw. Keep trying to do that. But you don't want to be doing too much. You don't want to be treating the record attempts as another practice session. So that's really something that I try to do when I'm not training and even when I'm out here training is just play around with things, try different things. If it doesn't work during practice, that's great. You at least experiment it. You don't really want to experiment during the record sessions because that's not the time. That's not the time to just burn an attempt, you know. You want to do that in the practice sessions, and then when it's the time for the attempts, do your five, do some more practice, do your five, do some more practice, do your five. So that's that, that's what works for me. It might be different for everyone. Anyway, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Hopefully you're getting outside, doing something active, away from screens, getting outside of nature, breathing in some nice fresh air, getting your body moving. Have a great day, everyone.